The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. All right, it's Brian and Kenzie on Q101, and no one can ever say we don't follow up and give you the answers that you demand. So we're talking about Cyrus McCormick, the man that invented the International Harvester tractor here in Illinois and Chicago. He's buried in Graceland Cemetery. Case, there's an update on how to find somebody in a cemetery, I guess. Yes, thank you to everybody who texted in and let us know that the internet is actually more incredible than I already thought it was. We can go to findagrave.com and find the location of the headstone of one Cyrus McCormick. I have looked it up. It seems very attainable to get to. I am ecstatic. Okay, this is and it's right in our neighborhood. We, we, we live on both sides of Graceland Cemetery. We can meet in the middle somewhere, and we'll find his grave and take a picture because he's a great man. Uh, that Well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know all of his beliefs. And maybe someone's going to find something and I'm going to oh, get canceled. That quote's going to come back. Holy <laughs> crap. I mean, he invented a tractor, so he's got to be pretty good. Yeah, well, it sounds like he maybe bypassed the war to just build a tractor. I, I think Civil War, we're probably safe. It's a good move. Then yeah. K- Case brought up the question then as we got in this McCormick wormhole. Is he the guy that McCormick Place is named after? Not true. Some texters said he is. Uh, Colonel Robert R. McCormick, who was a visionary and also served as the... For tractors? No, (laughs) nothing with tractors. He was a colonel. Oh. He was an anti-war activist, by the way, and he served as editor and publisher of the Chicago Tribune, and he spearheaded the drive to build a world-class convention center, and he put his name on it, or they eventually just said, we'll put your name on it. So, put your name on it. So they if you did. like it, then you should have put your name That's on right. it. That's <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, he's he was a pioneer that way. Now, Kenzie then brought up, does Cyrus McCormick also make McCormick the seasonings? Yes. Which or, is delicious. Or, or the same family. Yeah, family they're, Jason. They're, not, they're all spelled different, too, by the way. Oh. There are different ways to spell McCormick. Really? So, no. They started, and all these people started in the 1800s. The 1800s the case said, like, nothing happened. All these people, they did stuff. They made things that we use today. But they did stuff, but they didn't really get to benefit from any of it. They did Because didn't. All, all the things they did, we just took in the later centuries. I mean, it's tough. I feel like everything got made now. What do we need? I, I feel that way all the time. You I go, what I'm next? Like, Thank, thanks for that. There's another, and... another cool app. That's all I need. But these people built everything we use today. So McCormick, uh, has, the seasoning has 14,000 employees around the globe. And the no Chicago connection, though, that the seasonings. But their revenue was three point. No, six point three one seven billion dollars last year. Oh yeah, they made so, a billion dollars. Six be, billion. You gotta season that stuff. Oh my god. Well, you're a, you cook a lot. Do you use their seasonings? Yeah, I, I use. I mean, I use a ton of different brands, but I, for sure, McCormick's like you know is everywhere. It's up there. They got it. They got it. So now we know all about the McCormick's, and I thought you probably it's the information you didn't think you needed today on Q101, but it's there for you. Well, that's successful McCormick's. Super. Mm. Is there a McCormick out there that's done something good? One of our listeners is your last name McCormick. I bet they did. I mean, it just, it just in your blood. If your name McCormick, you're going to do success. Great. Yeah. <laughs> we want to hear from you at 312 591 8300. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. And uh, I am putting that bet on DraftKings. It's plus 275 for Connor Bedard to score five plus shots on goal. That's reasonable. Yeah. What does that mean? What does plus 275 mean? That means if I bet 10 bucks, I'll make $27. 27 and a half. Hmm. Now, now, want to get down on Why that? Why do you have to bet 10? Oh, you, I can bet five. I can do whatever I want. How much would you make if you bet five? Uh, half of that. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's very confusing. I don't get like the, well, this is a point two seven eight, so you'll win 1,000. I'm like, Why? <laughs> we talked about this earlier in sports with Kenzie, and she doesn't know anything about gambling, and she was stunned to find out that you can bet on all kinds of things, not just a win or loss. scores. Yeah, no, all kinds of stuff. So, Kenzie, I know you don't gamble like Brian and I, but if you want to dip your toes in tonight on DraftKings, like Brian said, that bet is plus 275 for Connor Bedard to record five shots on goal. If you put down $5 and he does that, you could win $18.75. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's right there. He's... So what happens if you do what happens if you lose? You like, lose the money. You just give it unless you sign up with promo code Q101. <laughs> you just give it <laughs> away. No so yeah, in betting, when you lose, the money you bet goes away. It's, mm-hmm. it's like it's like poof. Poof, it's, it's not gone. Fun. And, and then, then you can bet another day and maybe make it back. That's horrible. So I just spent five dollars just because he didn't do like enough stuff during the game. No, you win eighteen dollars, you bet five dollars. You're making money if he does that. You wait, lose but the... you're losing money if he doesn't do what he's supposed to do. That but you're losing is... way yeah. less. Yeah. That is called you gambling. You're losing less. You're losing exactly what you had. You have problems, Brian. No, I think I'm uh, I'm pretty fine. Oh, it's here. just a, it's a hard concept for me to understand why it's fun. 
I'm like, oh, I it's... want that back. I could have bought it. You know why? Because it was a great a line. A drink or something. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink if you gamble with me. Okay, so it's it's a great line in a movie called The Color of Money. Money won is so much sweeter than money earned. Right, but what if you don't win and then you <laughs> spent your money? Like, isn't that like the worst case scenario? <laughs> You end up just chasing. You got to go back, get off, get back on the horse, and say, "Oh, it was just, that was a bad one on me." Kenzie, I lost forty-five dollars betting on football this weekend. Oh my god! And I am ready to get back out there. Yep. I am ready to get hurt again. Uh, that I honestly, that sounds awful to me. <laughs> I, I would be so upset if and, I just lost forty five dollars. I always come to the office and go, ah, oh, money's tight, not doing too well. Well, it does or not. Exactly. I really, that math is mathin'. The first week of football season, I crushed, and it has been a bad four weeks since. Wow. And see, the thing you're just... Well, you, I should have started this website. Hey, just give me your money. Uh, <laughs> you could have been... Dr- do well, you can get it back. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kenzie K stands for Kenzie Kings? Yeah. yeah. I go, Okay. But to your point, chasing that lost $45 is actually more exciting than actually winning all weekend and just trying to win again. He's now chasing his losses. That's, That's what true. they call it. Well, that sounds that sounds like you need therapy. Oh, that too, but unrelated. Yeah, okay. Embrace oh. it, Genzi. Embrace mm. it. What was that? Aww. I'm trying to do the Emperor in Star Wars. Oh. Ooh. Embrace yeah. your hate. But it's not hate. It's love and gambling. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Sounds healthy. Uh, <laughs> uh, one hundred gambler. Uh, the Atlanta Braves were down four to nothing against the Phillies in the sixth inning, but rallied back to lead five four in the ninth. This was big in my household. My wife uh, Megan, of course, from Philadelphia. Uh, little Harper was wearing her Phillies outfit. Bryce Harper was on first, and the Phillies were threatening when this disgusting thing happened. 2-2, Castellanos in the air to right center field. Harris is on the run. Harris at the track. He leaps, and he makes the catch. What a call. Harper might be doubled up. The throw gets away. The throw to first. It's over. It's over. All I can think about when I saw that is the fact that, like, I don't know if I can throw something across the room <laughs> and, like, make it to the other side without it bouncing. <laughs> and, like, how disappointing it would be for me to be a, like, It would have been, like, a grand slam if I was up there. Kenzie <laughs> makes really a, bad. Kenzie makes the amazing catch That's, but then can't throw it. I like the idea that she's diving against the center field wall and making one of the best postseason catches we've ever seen, but then she can't double up yeah. Bryce Harper because she has no arm. I can't catch it. It, <laughs> it was unreal. I can catch that ball. That catch was ridiculous. Ridiculous and uh, then, I would probably sit near the wall anyways, kind of hoping that then everybody like everybody else would think that most things were them. <laughs> like, call it, that's you. Oh, you got <laughs> it. I'm all the way back here. You're like, you're camping like in Call of Duty, like yeah. the way snipers are. I was a big camper. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. I always think of Twisted every time I hear 21 Pilots and make sure you get your tickets. If you haven't already, get it locked up. Q101.com for this year's Twisted. Tickets are selling. It's going to sell out. You're going to be sorry if you don't get them today. So just do it right now. Lock it up a couple months away, and you're done. Or buy them as a gift. Uh, great gifts for your friends out there. Lauren's here. What's going on, Lauren? Ahoy. Yes. How do you I feel? I feel I, I'm playing the is it allergies or am I fighting a cold roulette, you know? Mm. Okay. As soon as the weather changes, my body rejects it. It's so. the plague. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, perfect. So yeah, I think we're bringing all have to in quarantine. In. We can't come in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no. Kenzie does no. push the no work Wednesdays uh, for the I show. I have said it. How, what a nice refresh in the middle of the week. <laughs> and no one listens. She's got a point. A lot of people are work from home or yeah. don't work Mondays no, well, and Fridays. Right, but uh, everyone comes in on Wednesday, so it's a good time to, like, take a little break. To not come in. Well, yeah. it's like it's over It's like over capacity in this yeah. building. That's when the traffic is the worst. Yes, the worst. So I just think. <laughs> I, just, I, I just want to refresh. I second this. Oh. Uh, we're coming I, up. I think about how open all doctor's appointments would be. Because yeah. everyone's going to come. So one day everyone's going to come in. Yeah. I know. Yeah, you know we'll, we'll be here live at 6 o'clock That's tomorrow, right. Kenzie. We'll be here. Kenzie. Oh, God. You keep pushing it. Hey. We'll see what hey, happens. For effort. Like, bring out your whip case. Got yeah. it. I'll be here. <laughs> all right. Takeaways at 312-591-8300. Things that you're taking from today's show. Uh, case, what are uh, people texting in? Uh, Joe learned something that I learned as well. He said that Kenzie is responsible for launching launching Cardi B's rap career. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, uh, we, we all Not learned, <laughs> We all learned a little bit more about the classic album Gangsta Bitch Music Volume 1 today. Absolutely. And two. <laughs> and two. It's amazing there wasn't enough just for Volume 1. No, it's so many more. Hit. 
hits. There's Drop more. Drop another EP, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Uh, Very good. Kenzie, Classic. What do, you, what do you got, Kenzie? Um, my, I have my own takeaway. Oh, okay. I have a takeaway that I would like to share from the show. Yep. And it's that we have the best listeners ever. Truth. Yeah. So at the beginning of the show, we were talking about my huge pregnancy craving last night. It was one of the first times something really kicked in. Okay. And I was like, I almost lit our house on fire looking for sour candy. <laughs> and like, oh my, I, I was so upset. I felt like emotional going to bed. Yeah. I couldn't find a single, not like there was no unturned rock, but there's not a sour straw somewhere. Oh, man. Out of the wrapper or something. <laughs> I couldn't find anything. And um, Chef Sean dropped off an entire box of sour candy oh, he's at the, the studio. How cool is that? There's a couple <laughs> other things I need, so I'll just make a list. <laughs> but if you want to listen to my Amazon wish list, <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, no. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Sean. Amazing. Uh, finally, Jennifer, takeaway. Farm harvesters do not make quick getaways. They do not. And if you really want to know what that's about, you got to go to the 8 o'clock hour the podcast. A lot of a lot of different wormholes of that conversation. Hey, you you can learn if you go to the Brian and Kenzie Q101 Morning Crew podcast, which is available anywhere podcasts are found. You can learn about Cardi B's rap career, mm. the history of farming in Chicago in the funniest way possible, and so much more about a guy, a guy who got two DUIs in 17 minutes. It's all in the 8 o'clock podcast. It's fantastic. I'm oh. sold. Also, I thought that's an easier mistake to make than you may think. Yeah. <laughs> Lesson learned. I'm, I'm on his side. <laughs> make sure you subscribe, like, and share the podcast. Uh, Lauren, what do you got coming up? I've got Boys Like Girls and State Champs tickets coming at 1230. 1230. Be here. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.